Hello guys, welcome to my channel Sidat Usama 2018. First of all go to the Play Store or App Store and type on search bar Flight Radar 24 and install it on your device. The file size is only 44 MB. As soon as you open the application you will see all the real-time airplanes over the world. The red lines on this map shows the ATC boundaries that are controlling the airplanes in the particular airspace and the dark and black color on the map on the left side shows the night and day in a particular region. By swiping to a particular region you will see real-time airplanes in this app. Now let us see the aircrafts cruising over India. The yellow aircraft symbol shows the size of plane. The blue pointers indicates the airports all over the world. Let us see the Mumbai airport. It shows the satellite map of all regions if we tap on the blue pointer, it will show you four options that are arrivals, departures, on ground and the weather of a particular airport. Weather will show us temperature, humidity, pressure, and many more. It also shows real-time planes on ground, and the departures list will show the planes which will depart with the time and at last the arrival list will show the arriving planes with time. It also shows delay index, average delay and the elevation height of the airport. If any plane is arriving an airport you can see it live in this app directly from the arriving list of this app. It will show the aircraft registration from where to where it is going its ground speed, its calibrated altitude, airline name, airplane pictures, aircraft type, its total distance and estimated flight time too. It also shows vertical speed, true airspeed, squawk, on which radar it is connected, its latitude, longitude but some features are only available in the gold version which is to be paid. If you will click on the aircraft picture on the top you will be redirected to the website jetphotos.com where you will be able to see all the pictures of that airplane and you can go to full info of aircraft to see whole detail, its age, ownership history, etc. You can also see recent flights of that airplane and the speed altitude graphs of that airplane. If you turn on the weather and volcanic eruption setting then you will be able to see the weather of all individual places on your map and also the volcanic eruption. There are also some map settings like normal terrain satellite hybrid silver dark origin and plane. You can also select a particular aircraft labels like none, airline logo, and the text labels like altitude, speed, etc. You can also adjust the map brightness, dot the day and night lines which help us to distinguish that in which region it is night and in which region it is day, dot and also the ATC boundaries which appears as red line on map. There are also some complex settings like the aeronautical charts, airport pins and, show my location. In the weather setting you can select between current weather, volcanic eruption with boundaries, dot the clouds which are refreshed every one hour and also the overview of the global precipitation and intense precipitation. Now in visibility you can set the traffic types like gliders, aircraft on ground, ground vehicles etc. You can set the USA and Canada radars with real-time helicopter and glider track. And in the mist setting you can set the language, 3D view settings etc. The filter option has the features like airline aircraft, airport registration, altitude, speed and appearance. In the alerts you can select the custom alerts Squawk 7600, Squawk 7700 received alerts and the ringtones. You might not be knowing that this app offers the 3D view of an airplane so now let us see the airplane in 3D view by selecting 3D below. Make sure you have gold version to see the 3D view unlimited times and for gold subscription you have to pay for it.
Here you can see the full 3D view of an aircraft but make sure you have a good internet connection to load it and in this 3D option you can select between outer aircraft view and cockpit view from the sky and in the 3D settings you can set the airports the shadows labels and trails and at last the quality which is low medium. You can also select options like route follow and you can also share that information to anyone. If you select the arrow in the bottom left it will show you your current location, dot and if you select the aerial view written as R on the top left corner you will be able to see planes while putting your phone in particular direction and at last in more setting there is FAQs TGE2. Tutorial and feedback. Please subscribe to my channel it does not cost anything.